Moving on, the U.S. slaps a fresh round of sanctions on a Russian individual and three entities who are accused of having taken a role in Moscow's use of North Korean weapons against Ukraine. Kiev says a North Korean short-range missile that Russia used earlier to attack Ukraine turns out to be a North Korean version of Iskander. Our Kim jong shi has the latest. The U.S. State Department has imposed sanctions on three Russian entities and one individual involved in the transfer of North Korean ballistic missiles to Russia, which used them against Ukraine. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in a statement on Thursday said the U.S. will not hesitate to take further actions. You see, the Russia is the permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, so the U.N. Security Council is kind of a dysfunctional at this moment. So these countries, NATO, South Korea, Japan, and United States, cooperate with each other to put the more sanction on both Russia and North Korea. Both Moscow and Pyongyang denied the arms transfers, but the South Korean Unification Ministry says such transfers are evident. Despite repeated denials from both Russia and North Korea, the arms transfers are an evident fact. Such arms deals are a violation of UN Security Council resolutions and a legal act that disrupts international order. The deputy spokesperson added the arms deal must be stopped immediately. Kyodo News citing the Ukrainian Defense Ministry reported on Friday that the wreckage of a missile by Russian forces on January 2nd in eastern Ukraine turned out to be a North Korean short-range ballistic missile. The authorities said the missile is likely a KN-23, or also known as the North Korean version of Iskander, the name of Russia's short-range ballistic missile. A South Korean expert said the KN-23 is a conventional short-range ballistic missile, which has a range of about 600 kilometers. The Ukrainian authorities are claiming that the missile is North Korean made because when they analyzed the wreckage, it was larger in diameter than the Russian Iskander missile. The expert added that the military cooperation between Pyongyang and Moscow will likely accelerate in the future and that it could affect not only the war in Ukraine but also the security on the Korean peninsula. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.